Hi guys, welcome back to another cut above with Chris. I've just done my face shave. If you've watched, if you haven't watched, go back and watch it now because it is quite a good shave. I used a new razor which was really cheap. It's a sort of just an average brand. I'll just give you a little look at it. Looks very similar to the Merca 34C, which I don't own, but just from what I've seen on the online and on YouTube videos, it looks quite similar and works the same way. You just screw the bottom and lift off the top, put your blade in, and pop it back on again. And boom, you're done. Great little razor. One of the best shaves I've had, believe it or not. I really enjoyed the shave, it was a beautiful shave. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I think the, the soap made a difference, I think that helped. So, the soap I'll be using today. I'm just going to fill up the sink while I'm talking. Is, sorry, I'll just show you. Shave a heaven, hubba hubba. I've already got it on here because I've just had a face shave. I'm just going to add a little bit of water back into the soap in the bowl. And it comes like that in the bowl. It's a relatively hard soap, but it's, I, would, I would say it's definitely a softer soap. It's hard enough. Hard enough that. Sorry, should I say soft enough that you don't have to bloom it to get a good lather. Which is good, because I find blooming you sort of use a bit more soap than you really need to when you bloom the soap. Okay, so I'm just going to wet my head. Uh, and just, if you didn't catch my last video, I've already put on some Edwin Jagger pre-shave. Just to keep the hair a little bit softer while I was doing my face shave. I'm just going to add a bit of water to my head. Just a little bit, not a lot. And just, uh, just before I start, as you can see I've got sort of this little bits of tea and that all over the place here. I've just used a new tool, which my father-in-law brought me back from the UK. Uh, they did a bit of a world, world tour, uh, went around the world. And he brought this back for me, it's uh, Babelous for Men. And basically it's it's just a... Turn it on and just rotates and you just literally rub it all over your head and it chops all the hair down. Obviously I want the hair as short as I can so I'll take the whole attachment off and just use it bare like that. And it worked a treat and it was really impressive. You know, for what for what it is, it's not I didn't think it would work to be honest, but it's much quicker than using a hand, one where you just sort of pull and pull it along your ear and you get it's a real pain doing that. This was a piece of cake. It took me literally from start to finish to get it that short, about two minutes. All right, so here we go. Oh, this, this, oh, look at this ladder. Look at it. That's a thing of beauty, guys. A thing of beauty. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And the scent. I love this stuff because it fills the bathroom up with with the scent. And it's just incredible stuff. Right. Asco blade. Last one from this packet and the Mueller R41. Still my favourite razor, but this little guy's pretty close behind there, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, so brand new blade in there. Always do a brand new blade for a head shave because you really need the edge on your blades. I've ordered some feathers. I can't wait till they get here because I do like the feather for my head shaves. It really works a treat. I'm just gonna get a bit of soap out of there. Right, so here we go with the grain. I'm gonna keep this blade up a little bit. I'm gonna chuck it on the fold. And there we go. You guys out there that get the pleasure of shaving your heads. Don't get me wrong, if I could have all my hair back again, I probably would. But I just get an enormous amount of pleasure out of shaving my head. Probably more than any man should, really. I really enjoy it. And that feeling of just it's, a, it's almost a freeing experience once you get it all off there and you go against the grain and it's super smooth. It's just an amazing feeling. Thank you. 
the Mule R41. It's definitely, in my opinion, the only razor you should have for your head because it just whips the hair off so so efficiently, so cleanly. I mean, it is a. I suppose it's an aggressive razor. I keep saying it all the time. I don't think it's an aggressive razor. I find it efficient and precise. Um, I don't find it aggressive at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you get it in the wrong angle and you just pull it the wrong way, boom, you you cut and slice because that's. You've just got to be careful with it and, and work, work within the boundaries of how comfortable you are because I think a lot of people, including myself, get a bit um, intimidated by it because you watch all these videos of Paul H and the Suffolk Shaver, Kevy Shaves, Adventures in Shaving. I know he uses open razors but I mean that's, that's more lethal. Um, you get a bit apprehensive about using things like the R41. Now that I've used it, it's an aggressive razor in terms of using a DE89, but it's worth having in your cupboard, especially for head shaves. And if you want a clean, quick, smooth, effortless shave, once you get the technique right with this, you won't find much better, I don't think. I've been interested to find out with a few new razors when I get them, how well they do and how, how, how they compare to the R41. And just, I just want to clear up as well, this shave I have in soap that I've got, the Hubba Hubba, this is actually the discontinued model, discontinued line. Um, he's now brought out, a, I think he's went tallow based, these are glycerin based. He's went tallow based now, so I'm hopefully going to try and get some and just see how they shave. I'm going to just turn around the back, just hopefully you can see. Now this isn't an exact science, this is all just about feel. Now I do have a little spot on the top of my head, which will nick, there's nothing I can do about it. I've got a bit of a problem when it comes to spots for picking them, especially on my head for some reason. So because I go against the grain on my head, it's just, there's no prisoners when it comes to spots and things. That's a great first pass, as always. Just going to put a water in my head and strip back on again. I might need a little bit more soap, but then again, I might not. Generally, for these second passes, you just don't need quite as much. Okay, against the grain. Oh, it's just brilliant, so it is. You know, Stephen, this is when I wish I could use my left hand, mate. Just so I could show you on the camera. Tell you what, I'm going to try. No, no good. I've just nicked. I haven't actually cut myself here. I wonder if you can just see that. It's not a cut. It's just a 
a little part of my head that just seems to have a little bump on it. And I just nick it uh, nearly, well not every time, but I nick it nearly every time. sure I've got a good bit of coverage on there and this is the teller of a good razor as far as I'm concerned. Good razor and blade if I can pull this up against the grain without really any juddering then I know my blade's sharp and I know it's doing the right thing. So let's see how we go. As you can see, there's literally no juddering. There's a little bit. There's nothing to worry about really. Alright, let's just have a final Final pass over everything. And you can see how far that ladder went with that three full head shaves. Where it will be when I'm done here. And I've still got loads in there. Absolutely loads. And I didn't add much more from my face shave. Just a little bit. So it's literally from one load I've done my full face and my head. Which it's probably unheard of with a lot of soaps. Much left there, so what I'm going to do put the whole water in my head. I'm just going to use up the rest of this ladder and then just run my hand over a bit and then just. Yeah? What are you doing? Just having a shave, Dal. Thanks, Dal. Oh, we're so needed. 
I'm gonna come. Sorry guys, I'm just concentrating so I don't do much talking when I concentrate. Especially when you're dealing with an aggressive razor on your head. you want you will not get a closer shave than that you just won't get one there are very few razors out there that will give you that shave I don't care what anyone tells me right let's get all this washed out they go <laughs> I've got I've got a tan line from where I've had my hair oh sorry right, we'll sort that out soon enough out in the sunshine oh, oh feel that feel that go on feel it how smooth is that BBS never heard of it this is smoother right finish off with Sofio Sofilo de la Rasoyo Hey, there you go. After shave cream. I'm just gonna put it, put it everywhere. Can I just say, guys, there is no, and I mean no, irritation at all, none, from my face or my head shave today. Both of which involved obviously the Mule R41 an aggressive razor and my face shave with that new razor which I would say is bordering on aggressive not as aggressive as the R41 but it's there, it's, it's right about there just, oh, well, I just can't, I can't put any words guys how much I enjoyed that I'm just going to finish off now with a good old squirt or Brute Special Reserve just a, it smells like talcum powder to me. I used to use Cutie Cura when it was a bit heavier, when I had a bit of weight on me to stop sweat rash and things like that. Not that you need to know that. It smells a bit like Cutie Cura or just talcum powder. I always like the smell of brute. And there we have it, guys. Started off Edwin Jagger pre shave. Shave of Heaven. Hubba Hubba, which looks like that. I 
it smells a billion times better than it looks. Bob Quinn Berlin Resin. I'm losing a bit of hair out of this brush now. Bob Quinn Berlin Resin Custom Brush. Beautiful brush, handmade. Mule R41 with an Asco blade. And finished off with Sulfilo del Rosolio. Del Rosolio. Aftershave cream. And then a, finally a good squirt of Brute Special Reserve. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Really enjoyed that shave today. And for results like that, it's really worth it. Um, I hope you guys have happy shaves, good shaves this week. And I'll probably catch you on Wednesday at some point. I'll flick another video up. So thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome back to my existing subscribers. Guys that haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below. Um, the more I grow this channel, the more I'll give to you guys. Lovely. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time.